his girlfriend and left her with at least one broken bone and bruising. Just the latest incident for KPJ as he's known around the NBA. It seems like everything has just changed for Kevin Porter Jr. once again. This is without a doubt one of the most tumultuous basketball careers I've ever covered, and there's a brand new twist and turn involved in it. So before we get to the content, we're on the grind to 1 million subscribers. So make sure you subscribe and turn on our notifications to help us get to 1 million. And now that we get all that out of the way, cue the intro. Look right over here, you'll see all of these wonderful human beings that have been able to make some money by playing prize picks. And I give away my picks for free each and every day on my Instagram at the Flight Mike and Snapchat at Flight Mike Snap. And right now they're hooking up my subscribers fat when you use my promo code Flight Mike when you sign up for prize picks. And thank you, prize picks for the sponsor. Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on everybody? Kevin Porter Jr. would have potentially been a lottery pick in the 2019 NBA draft if he didn't already have a troubling past. You see, coming out of high school, Kevin Porter Jr. was a five-star recruit and was a top 20 recruit according to rivals. Eventually would commit to USC and that's when the trouble would start for him. In January of 2019, he was suspended at USC for personal conduct issues and this is all all during a season where he averaged 9.9 .9 points, four rebounds, and 1.4 assists in 22 minutes per game. Despite the fact that he already had been suspended at USC, Kevin Porter Jr. was drafted based off of his potential alone. When he entered the NBA draft, he was compared to players like James Harden, and his play style was very similar to James Harden. And without a doubt, if he was able to lock in, the sky was the limit for Kevin Porter Jr. Fortunately, there would be a point where he would lock in. Kevin Porter Jr. would get drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks at the 30th overall pick in the 2019 NBA draft, and then we get traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then we would see other instances of poor behavior. In August of 2020, Kevin Porter Jr. would once again get accused of punching and pulling a woman's hair in downtown Cleveland. The altercation reportedly took place while the woman was arguing with Kevin Porter Jr.'s sister, but there were no charges relating to this incident. Three months later, Kevin Porter Jr. would get into a car crash that would completely alter his career. See, not only would Porter Jr. get into a car crash, but at the same time, in the car they found a weapon that was unauthorized and marijuana. On top of that, he was charged for his inability to control a motor vehicle, and he would get arrested for possession of a loaded firearm. And the reason why this changed everything was a few months later, the Cleveland Cavaliers would make a franchise-altering trade, trading for Torian Prince and Jared Allen, and the Cleveland Cavaliers would give some of their new acquisitions Kevin Porter Jr.'s locker. And Kevin Porter Jr locker was moved to a less desirable spot. This was after he took a few months away from the team to figure out his legal situation. So returning to see he was demoted might have frustrated him, and this resulted in a huge altercation. Porter Jr. reportedly threw his food during his outburst when he entered the Cleveland locker room and learned that Torian Prince was given his old locker. Porter Jr. was relocated to the wall where the younger and end of the bench players reside, and JB Bickerstaff was reportedly disgusted by Kevin Porter Jr.'s remarks during his outburst. As a result of this, Kevin Porter Jr. was dealt to the Houston Rockets, who were in a situation where they were trying to get as much young talent as possible and were willing to take risks on this young talent. And for the most part, Kevin Porter Jr. was a model citizen from this point and on. Yeah, in January of 2022, he got into an altercation with his assistant coach, John Lucas, but Steven Silas would say that this was just a spirited debate at halftime and that nothing should have been made of it. Porter Jr. completely turned around his career, going from an individual that was perceived to be a troubled player with a ton of potential if he just locked in to an individual that was given a four-year $82.5 million contract extension with the Houston Rockets. Now, this contract wasn't fully guaranteed, but it was definitely a step in the right direction. If Kevin Porter Jr. was locked in and controlled his temper, this man would set up his entire bloodline for generational wealth. I mean, you just only have to play this one contract and you really don't have to work a day in your life after this.
this. Of course, if you invest that money properly, unfortunately, that wouldn't happen. One year later, Kevin Porter Jr.'s life would change for the worst, as he would get charged with assault and strangulation. Police responded to a 911 call reporting an assault at 6.45 a.m. would arrest Porter. The incident involved Porter's girlfriend, a former WNBA player, Tyre Gundrezic, and upon arrival, officers were informed that a 26-year-old female sustained a laceration to the right side of her face and was complaining about pain to her neck. Preliminary investigation on the scene determined that a known individual struck her multiple times upon her body and placed his hands around her neck. Now, the NBA and the Houston Rockets would gather information on this situation and things didn't really look good. Typically in these types of situations, when the victim realizes that her man might lose his job as a result of this, they'll issue a statement saying nothing happened to her, but the writing was already on the wall. Kevin Porter Jr.'s history with these types of situations and the fact that he has a history of being hot-headed and having a temper, plus the fact that he has laid his hand on a woman before, on top of this latest accusation and the evidence that was gathered, didn't make things look any better and it made it very hard to believe that Kevin Porter Jr. was innocent in all this. As time went on, we would find out more information about it. Kevin Porter Jr. allegedly attacked the victim overnight that Monday at the Millennium Hilton New York Hotel near the United Nations on First Avenue. His girlfriend was taken to the hospital with at least one broken bone and bruising. The alleged incident began after the pair had been out. She returned to the room and went to bed. Porter Jr. got locked out and the altercation escalated from there. Hotel security was called afterward and they alerted the police who got to the hotel before 7 a.m. And then Porter Jr. would get charged with second degree assault and strangulation. And as soon as this came out, we would find out additional stories about Kevin Porter Jr. being hot-headed. I mean, he was rumored to have damaged a DJ's laptop during a team event two seasons back. They were out at a club apparently and there was a disagreement, I guess, with the DJ in the club and KPJ took the laptop of said DJ and smashed it on the floor. He just completely destroyed it and started tearing the place up and the Rockets, they immediately got him out of there. So at this point, given where the Rockets were, they decided to move on from Steven Silas. They did this entire cultural reset in the off season. They signed Dylan Brooks. They signed Fred Van Vliet. They clearly found a star in Alperen Shingoon. And even Jalen Green, at least not at the time, but now, is starting to trend upwards. And we even made a video on that a few days ago. So if you were the Houston Rockets, one, Kevin Porter Jr. was already the odd man out to begin with. And two, you just can't afford any threats to the new culture that Ime Udoka is trying to build in Houston. So at that point, Houston decided to trade Kevin Porter Jr. to the OKC Thunder. And for a brief second, I thought, oh my God, OKC is deeper than ever. I can't believe they traded for Kevin Porter Jr. He would get waived immediately. And since then, Kevin Porter Jr. has been out of the NBA, been out of basketball for good, trying to figure out his legal situation once again. And there didn't really seem to be a roadmap back into the NBA. And to this point, I don't think there ever will be a roadmap back into the NBA, given what Kevin Porter Jr. did. I'd be shocked if he ever played basketball ever again for any franchise, considering the fact that he was given multiple chances and he was trending in the right direction too, which is probably the most heartbreaking part of the situation. It seemed like he was about to get his life together and was on his way to setting himself up for life before he just did a horrific, despicable thing once again. But fortunately for Kevin Porter Jr., there is a team that's willing to take a chance on his talent. And before you ask, no, it's not an actual NBA team. According to Shams Charania, Kevin Porter Jr. has agreed to a contract with a brand new basketball team with the Greek club PAOK for the rest of the season. And the post that they did for Kevin Porter Jr. signing with PAOK is just so interesting. They don't even seem excited themselves about this brand new signing. They tweeted out, it's April Fool's Day, but it's true. As in, yeah, we know you can't believe that we signed this despicable human being based off of his allegations. Oh well, yeah, we did. This isn't an April Fool's prank. We're actually signing Kevin Porter Jr. So Kevin Porter Jr. is signing a one month, $10,000 contract with this Greek club PAOK. -OK. And I guess it's just a cautionary 
fairy tale, man. I said this in my Rishi Rice video on my microphone football channel. There are times where you can make a mistake and you actually have the ability to learn from the mistake. And Lord knows that I've made my fair share of mistakes, whether it's in uploading content or in real life or the way I cover the content. And luckily for me, I've had the ability to learn from these mistakes. But let's say if you go into the gym and you train incorrectly and you tear your shoulder and you can't train again, or if you throw out your back, have a slip disc in your back and you can't train properly again. Or if you get behind the wheel when you're clearly not good enough to drive over twice the legal BAC, get into your Corvette, speed 156 miles per hour, crash into another woman and cause her car to explode and results in the end of her life and her dog's life. And as a result, your football team cuts you and you have to spend multiple years in jail. In this case, Kevin Porter Jr.'s mistake completely altered the trajectory of his career. Instead of making $20 million a year over the next four years, he's now making $10,000 for the next month. As a result of his horrific mistake and as a result of him laying his hands on a woman, allegedly. So it's a really sad way to go out, but I think it's a deserved way to go out if these allegations are true. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this, man. Do you think Kevin Porter Jr. deserves another chance? Do you think he did absolutely nothing wrong or do you think the evidence is actually very clear? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.